All right, so have you ever been building in Sims 4 and realized that you've made this basically the same room over and over again throughout different builds? Maybe your kitchens always look the exact same or maybe your living rooms always look the exact same. For me, it's bathrooms. My bathrooms always end up looking exactly the same. So I thought it might be fun to challenge myself to build five very different styled bathrooms in The Sims 4. And that's what I'm going to do. But before we get into that, make sure you go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. That way you never miss any of my build videos. All right, so here we are in Sims 4. Now this first build that I'm going to do is what I like to call the two tile bathroom. And that is because it is just two tiles. That is all you need for this bathroom to work. Now how this bathroom functions is you have a toilet on one side and then one of these little standalone showers without a wall on the other side. Pop a door right there in front of the shower and that is your basic bathroom build for this. Now I know it doesn't look like a whole lot right now, but we can make this to where it's actually kind of pretty. All right, so let's pop in a light so we can see what's going on. I'm going to use this kind of greenish tile just because I haven't used it in a while. And I'm going to use this kind of half tile around. So I've got like full tile right here where the shower is and then half tile around. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab the floor that matches that. Gosh, I have never used this lime green. All right. And on the floor, Floor here, I'm gonna make this floor tile underneath the toilet a little bit different. And for right here in between the toilet and the shower, I'm gonna put a little fence bar there. That way it, it looks like maybe the shower is built kind of on its own. All right, let's add some accent pieces. I'm gonna put this medicine cabinet on top of the toilet. We can put a towel up here too. Maybe we throw this basket up here. Oh, there's a little lime green towel. Wish we had like a lime green of these towels, these big ones. Like we have this kind of minty green, but that's not really the green I'm going for. Maybe we put two windows there as just kind of decoration. Oh, we have a lime green mirror. We'll put a mirror on the back of the door. You remember when that was just a big thing? I don't know if I want them up high like that or if I want to bring them down one. I think I'm gonna bring them down one. So here you go. Now we have kind of a more lively, so to speak, bathroom. So, you know, it's very, very small. This would definitely not work for a family, but let's say you're playing with someone in university. This kind of bathroom would be great great for like a university house build or a single sim living on their own, a tiny house, different things like that. This type of build would be really, really fun. And everything in here is functional. Your sim can use the toilet, your sim can use the shower, and your sim can even use that mirror. So this next build that I'm going to do, I like to call the simple base. And that is because you can build this with just using base game objects. So anybody in the game can make this bathroom. And it comes out looking pretty cute, if I say so myself. So one of the fun features about this bathroom is it has two doors. So it let's say you were built, this was a house and you needed like a master bathroom, but you couldn't, you didn't have enough space to make both a master bathroom and a guest bathroom. You could just pop two doors on it and it could serve as your guest bathroom and your master bathroom. And it works out perfectly. All right. So we have our bathtub. We have our our sink and let's go ahead and grab a base game toilet and this is the basic setup but and like I said it doesn't look like a lot but if you sit here and decorate it if you take a minute to really kind of decorate this it can look pretty cool pop some wallpaper and flooring down and stick a plant over here beside both of these throw up a mirror maybe some little decoration maybe we put a little toothbrush holder over here by the sink little bath mat and you can see now it's starting to come together it's still very simple it is still base game but as you can see now it's kind of created a more of a cuter vibe out of this style and like I said the two doors really come in handy if you're building a smaller maybe starter home and you can't really afford having a guest bathroom and your own bathroom in your bedroom this kind of works best of both worlds type thing all right so this next bathroom that I'm going to build is maybe a little different than some of the builds that we've seen before it's still kind of small but it's it's very special in its own right. So now you can see I have kind of a few different rooms scheduled here. This is all the bathroom, but this part right over here is going to be a walk-in shower. Over here is where the sink is, and this right here is going to be a little toilet nook. 
I know that sounds like a lot, but it, it'll make sense once I start building it and it comes together. So, all right, I'm going to put two windows right here. Oh, let me put down some light so we can see what's going on. All right, so I'm going to put two windows right here. And then right on top of this window, I'm going to put this glass door. And I know that looks a little odd, but that is functional. So all of this right in here is going to be a walk-in shower. So your sim is going to walk into this door to come into the shower. So let's go ahead and throw some tile down. I'm going to use this white tile. And then we have a matching floor tile of that same kind. So we have the entire room tiled there. This works off the same principle as this little standalone walk-in shower. And one of the things I like to do sometimes when I'm building this is I like to put a little chair in here. I used to be a home health care giver and I would help different people who, you know, needed help getting around their house, be it through old age or disability. And one of the things I would see all the time is they would always have either a built-in shower seat or something sort of like this in nursing homes where the shower was a walk-in shower and you had a seat to sit down. So I'd like to put a little chair in there. Not that your Sims can actually sit down while taking a shower, but it's kind of the thought and the idea of it. And then over here on this little table, we can put different things that your Sim may need. Maybe like one of these baskets and a towel. So there we go. We got your basic bath necessities over there. And then over here on the wall, I'll put our soap and then maybe a plain towel to clean with. I really wish we could bring this in, the walls in by half tiles. Because if I could, I'd like to bring it in just right there, right on that line. Because this is maybe just a little too much space. But I think you get the idea. It's a very, very cute little walk-in shower that your Sims can have. Now over here on this part, I'm just going to put a little archway there. And that is going to lead into the toilet. And you know what? In the toilet in here, this this little part, I'm just going to use the same tile that we used over here. And then we're free in this part to maybe kind of change it up a little bit. Maybe we put this cool little wallpaper in here. And maybe, let's see, what kind of flooring do we have that can match? Oh, that's cute. Okay, so over here is where the sink is going to be. So maybe we put this sink with a mirror. Maybe we pop, pop some plants in here beside it. I'm sorry. I've been obsessed with these plants ever since Dream Home Decorator came out. So there you go. Kind of a different shape of a bathroom. Not necessarily something you'd see every day. Big walk-in shower can be very, very useful. So uh, definitely an idea to consider. And of course, playing around with the different decorations. You can come up with all different kinds of crazy things with this. Now this next bathroom is one I get stuck on all the time. This is one of those that I end up building. So it starts out with a bathtub. And I know that seems a little strange but it, it just works for me. So I'm going to build this little nook around the bathtub here and then build this out. And then I'm going to put one more little wall there. So it kind of looks like almost two separate rooms there. Put our door in. All right, so this one goes off the idea of having both your laundry and your bathroom together. Now, I personally don't have my bathroom set up like this. I don't really know of anyone who does, but apparently it's a really popular thing to have. And I've just never really seen it. I guess it's kind of popular in like places such as Europe. So I I kind of felt this would be a fun little way to incorporate that idea into this build. All right, we're going to add the rest of this stuff. Now for this, for this wall right here behind the sink, I'm going to use this adorable little kitty cat tile that we got in Snowy Escape. I'm sorry. I love that tile. It is so cute. And the floor, I'm actually going to use a wood floor in this build. I know that seems a little strange putting wood in your bathroom, but believe it or not, I actually had a bathroom one time that had wood flooring. All right. I'll just make the rest of this kind of a plain blue. Maybe we have our laundry basket in here. Basket of laundry that still needs to be put away on top of the dryer because that's just real life people that we could even fit an ironing board up here all right so we have something that looks like a nice bathroom right something that you know nice friendly kind of kid friendly yeah that's where it ends though because we're about to completely mess this bedroom up and anyone who has kids understands what I'm talking about okay like here we go we're gonna have a little hole over here in the wall where some kid just kind of knocked the paint off because they thought it was funny kid toys that got brought in why are they in the bathroom we don't know get a little 
little rubber duck to put up on the sink though just because that's cute i guess the rubber duck makes sense in the bathroom but the rest of this won't there's gonna be sports equipment in here because that's just how it is why there's sports equipment in here we don't know one of the kids forgot their lunch boxes me a stack of books hidden behind the toilet because that's where homework gets put sometimes book bag in the bathroom why we don't know but you know what that's always where it is when it's time to go for school got some questionable food substance substances over here near the bath near the bathtub one of the kids brought their art supplies in here just because so there we go now you can see it's very much cluttered up and it has just a ton of kids stuff everywhere and look as a parent of three I can tell you right now this is probably the most accurate bathroom I have seen in the sims 4 okay kids stuff everywhere you don't know why it's there it just shows up and it never stops coming it's just always there please someone send help but anyway this would be a really really great bathroom for like a family style gameplay maybe if you're doing the 100 baby challenge you know there's so many kids in your house all the time well here you go you're not gonna have a pristine beautiful house okay it doesn't happen okay I'm sorry anyway anyway all right so this last build I am going to call the Simsy and the reason why I am calling it the Simsy is if you watch little Simsy's channel you'll know that she recently bought a house and her house she did kind Kind of a little walkthrough and this was kind of similar to the bathroom that she had now she's completely redoing the bathroom but this is a, a rendering of her old bathroom that she is having remodeled because I kind of liked the original floor plan of it a little bit but we are going to change it some okay I know it looks like we have a lot of rooms going on here but we're going to delete some of these walls here in just a second so this gets deleted and this gets deleted I'm gonna put an archway right in here so okay this is going to be one big walk-in shower okay and then over here is going to be where the sink is the toilet little nook right there and then right here we're going to put a built-in bathtub so let's start with a built-in bathtub because this is a cool trick so you can put a bathroom in the game I'll put this one and then if you come in under wall heights and go to half walls and pick this tiny half wall you can put this around your tub and your sims will still step over this so this bathtub is functional even though it looks like it is built into the wall. Now this may or may not work with all bathtubs, but I can tell you for a fact with this one it does. Oh, and you know what? It'd be so pretty if we had like a window behind that. Maybe like the small one. Oh, that would be so pretty, wouldn't it? I'm going to add some columns there on the side and then maybe we can put like some tile behind this just to kind of give it its own feel. Oh boy, and then this bathroom. Oh, I love those windows there. All right, so let's put in some tile. I'm gonna put in this kind of, you know what? I'm gonna go for this kind of beige one. And then we can do the same thing right there with the bathtub. We have a floor tile that matches it too. So we have this kind of marble tile with these self-made steps with the platforms going into the shower. I'm gonna go ahead and put a platform trim on it. I like this white kind of woodish one. Oh, and I'll go ahead and put a platform trim there to. And I think I'm going to use the Mount Komorebi shower on this one. Now, if you don't have Snowy Escape or Discover University, so you don't have these neat little walk-in showers, you can always just put a shower in here. Like I could put, you know, maybe this one here and it'd be fine. Or maybe even a shower tub combo. Like I could maybe put this here. Or you can maybe reverse these and make your built-in bathtub over here and put the wall down to where your built-in bathtub is over here. And then place a shower over over here on this side you'd have to get rid of the wall of course so I mean there are ways you can edit this to you know suit what packs and stuff you have oh you know what now that I actually built that though I kind of like that idea so you know what I think we're gonna do that so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this all right so this is changing it up a lot from Lil Simsy's house but I'm gonna put that there put my little half wall oh is my half wall gonna work Oh no, because it's going to put it on a little platform there because I have it down. But you know what? That's still kind of cute. I thought, you know what? I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it, okay? I'm, I'm keeping it. Maybe not that specific tub though. We'll go out with a fancier one. See, I could do this corner tub, but I don't. I don't know if that's going to work or not. Okay, hang on. All right, we're going to test this real quick because I don't know if that little corner tub is going to work or not. Oh, it works! 
works. All right, wonderful. So, okay, I'm gonna keep the little corner tub right there. That, that works beautifully for me. Okay, but I am gonna go ahead and make this a walk-in shower also, just because, I don't know, I really like the walk-in showers. I've, I've shown you though, if you don't have a walk-in shower, you can very easily substitute this with another shower. But I have them, so I'm gonna use them because I think they're really cool. Maybe we put three pillars there. There we go. So now the walk-in shower has like some curtains on the outside. Oh, this works out so much better than my original plan, didn't it? All right, bathroom accents. We'll use this kind of pretty towel there. And I'll go ahead and use these smaller soaps to kind of decorate this little shower area. Don't don't mind her taking a bath. It's it's fine. It's fine. She's just enjoying this beautiful little shower that we or little bath nook that we have. Oh gosh, that's so pretty. Okay. I'm sorry, moving on. All right, and I'm gonna use the same marble up here and then also right here in the little toilet nook. But right here in the rest of this, I'm gonna use wood again because I don't know. I have a thing about wood in bathrooms now. I think I've seen it once and I thought it was so awesome that I'm just sticking with it. All right, pop some paint on the walls. And then right up here is going to be where our sink area is. And this is where I kind of wish we had some prettier cabinets. Cause like none of these cabinets that we have in game really kind of give me the vibe that I'm looking for. I guess dream home decorator is close. Not exact, but close. So we're gonna put these kind of like that and put a little corner piece in, pop a nice sink in, and then maybe we can do like a big mirror on this side right here. There we go. Put our toilet in the toilet nook. You know what? I kind of feel like this would be the kind of house to have a little full length vanity mirror there. Ooh, I could put this on this side. So there we go. You can see how with, you know, just a little bit of customization, you can have this really, really nice fancy bathroom. And like I said, check out Lil Simsy's channel so you can see her house build renovation. Her house is really cool. Give her props for that. But this is just kind of my take on the bathroom that she had here. But there you go, five different bathrooms that you can use in your Sims 4 builds that are all very different from each other, but are all very, very nice and can be perfect for the right build. So let me know down below, what kind of bathrooms do you like to build in the Sims 4? Are there some that I left out of this list? And like I said, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell. I'll see everyone tomorrow. Bye.